So, hello again everyone. So these are the ingredients for our cinnamon twisted bread. This is one cup of uh, warm milk, two and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. we're going to mix the warm milk with one fourth cup of sugar followed by the one fourth cup of butter mix it in so we mix them together properly after this we will mix the beaten egg the yeast So we let this sit for 10 to 15 minutes until the yeast will proof. So we can set this up. Now the yeast has grown. Okay. Now then after that we'll mix it together. And also the salt. So, so we have to mix it properly. So that it will be like just like a dough. We're gonna put the dough in the in the mat. This is how we knead the dough. Mix it with full force. This is a good exercise for your muscle, for your arm. For your hands as well. Okay, you try it, Anya. Okay. Uh, this is how you knead the dough properly. Cover the dough with a cling film and we let this uh, rise for another 15 minutes. And this is how to prepare the cinnamon filling. We need uh, 1 fourth cup of brown sugar and 2 tablespoons of cinnamon powder, 2 tablespoons of white sugar. Mix them together and set aside. After 15 minutes, if you can see, the dough has doubled its size. So we have to punch it down like this. For the cinnamon roll, we have to roll the dough at least one fourth. Using a knife, you will put some cutting edge here. So this is our twisted bread. See that? 
Then we put it here in our electric skillet. So look at this. And then we have to roll the bread. And then you tip the edge. And then meet it on the center. Like this. And then we cut the sides with a sharp knife. This is how it should look like. Now this is the cinnamon twisted bread. We placed it on our electric skillet. So we will cover it again and let it sit for another 30 minutes before we're going to bake it. Okay, so after putting the brushing it with the egg wash, we are going to cover our electric skillet. And set the probe to 180 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. And let's look at our hazelnut cinnamon roll. Let's spread some melted butter on top. And add the cream cheese. 